Okay, and uh, hello, welcome to the video for the Ford Mondo 1.8. This is a turbo diesel car, and uh, it's got the intercooler on the top, it's the Endura engine. Uh, it's a V plate, it's 99 on the V, it's got 104,500 miles odd showing on it, and it's uh, a nice grey colour. It's got the front fog lights. What we'll do is have a quick whistle around the tyres. Okay, that's a good tyre there, There's plenty of wear to go on that one. Uh, this is a, uh, a rear tyre there, Firestone, about 50% worn that one, maybe a bit better, maybe just 40% worn. Bumpers are all in good order, it's got the rear wiper, this tyre here is virtually brand new, and uh, this one here, virtually brand new, so basically the car's shod with uh, three virtually brand new tyres and one part worn tyre. The uh, car also has the heated front screen which is absolutely superb. I'm going to try and just uh, show you if there's any marks on it. There's a tiniest little dimple dent just there. Bonnet's all nice. It's got hardly any stone chipping to the front end of the bonnet. Its wheel trims have got a few little cracks and things in them, but nothing to worry about too much. It's got an absolute heap of tax. Look at that, 0907. So, best part of nine months to run on the tax. That's worth uh, 180 quid or something. Well, not quite that much. 160, say. Uh, it's got two keys as well and a decent long MOT. It's got the rear wiper. There's a spare wheel, wheel brace and jack in the car as well, so it's all there. The uh, car inside, well, it's got had a bit of use inside, I'm afraid, if it had some kids. The back seats could do with a wet clean, and there's pockets in the back seats there. But the door cards are in good order. A wet clean, 30 quid's worth of wet clean, or an afternoon with the backs would uh, sort this out nicely. Uh, driver's steering wheel's got a little bit of uh, wear showing. Five-speed manual box with a CD player. We've got lumbar support. Yep, we've got lumbar support, centre armrest. Brakes have been sorted, they drive nicely. The aircon works as well, I've heard that click on, and it's got uh, nearly half a tank of, of diesel in it as well. It's got front fogs, all the books are present and correct in there. But alas, there's no history, there's just one receipt for the brakes. This is all there is, just for the brakes. £160 done on 88,000. Oh, blimey, it's quite some time ago. But the guy backs in the miles quite quickly again. Let's have a look at the... Uh, he bought an LPG Vectra for me, so what's the date? The date was, uh, oh, 1st of May 2005, so quite a while back. But the uh, the brakes are actually very, very good indeed. They just stop really nicely. It's got the radio then with the CD player, as I said, and the fingertip control. Has it got a fingertip control audio? No, it hasn't. No finger to get control audio, right. But it has got remote locking. There we are, 108,040. Right, I've test driven it. It drives well. And um, useful tool, really, with the diesel. Should get around 45 to the gallon out of one of these. And uh, plenty of parts and spares around. All the lenses are good, the glass is good. Front fog lights aren't cracked. <laughs> it's a very sharp car. For a V-Reg car, it is in very good order. Probably a bit difficult to see on this video how nice a condition it is. Just the interior needs a bit of tidying up. As I said, there's no scrapes at the edges of the bumpers. They're all okay. And it's idling over there a treat. And on the 10-minute uh, test drive I gave it, it was all fine. But the chap used it for the best part of a, of a week, even more, when he was uh, awaiting his new car for collection. But uh, I'll leave you with that. Thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, any questions, give me a call. Neil Pinkett's the name, and I'll be happy to answer them. Much obliged. Bye-bye.